Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ivan Massa, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a Bayliner 175, which is the flight edition. 2012, powered by Mercruiser's 3 litre 135 horsepower engine. Let's take a little look. So we supplied this one brand new back in 2012, it was commissioned 13 and when we ordered it from the factory it came, well we specified it with the extended swim platform here. Great if you're out with your family and you're wanting to jump in the water, go for a dip. If you're coming back out you've got your reboarding ladder there and there's a nice and ergonomic grip there for ease of access back on board. You've got cleats on either side if you want to tow an inflatable behind you can certainly do it using the towing eye here and then bayliners logo just molded into the fiberglass there at the back. So up top we've got the monster wake tower so you can tow a water skier behind you if you need so if you need to and you can also clip on two wakeboard clips here and there and that means you can carry up to six wakeboards at any one time while you are traveling out in the water. So the boat has a number of clever features that allow it to maximize its full space. Just over to the port side here we've got a forward and aft facing navigator seat. What we can do is we can actually fold it down like so and turn it into a sun lounger. If you think that's a struggle, well, to put it back up it takes all of five seconds. At the back here, we've got twin seats. They are fixed. Underneath them, you've got storage. And then the seats are sport seats, so they have that they have that double stitching and also that perforation. I've got cup holders that are molded in here, and then this is covered in non-skid as it's probably your best access out onto the swim platform rather than jumping over the seats as well. Now we've got the added cockpit carpets, they're snap in, snap out. So if you want to take them home after a long day in the water, you can stick them in the washing machine and you can wash down the deck, it's all self-draining, so don't worry about flooding your boat, that will not happen. You've got a large storage locker underneath here, plenty of space to store your inflatables, life jackets, anything like that you want to get in there for a day on the water. And then we've got two speakers just at the back there on either side for the onboard Jensen stereo system. That's up here at the navigators area. We've also got a lovable glove box, another cup holder, and then a 12 volt socket as well to charge your electricals. So onto the helm position. Now this being the flight series, it has a number of additions to it that mean that it's more sporty and aggressive in look. Now this is one of them with the helm seat. It's a bucket seat, it rotates and swivels so you can completely rotate it round to face the action and face your guests if you do want to stop at anchor and converse with them. We've got the steering wheel which is adjustable underneath. It's got that brushed aluminium center piece as well. We've got twin racing dials, so this is our speedometer. We've got fuel gauge and battery voltage. And then over here, you have your tachometer. Kit-wise, we've got a switch for the blower, the onboard bilge pump, our accessory. We've also got anchor lights, navigation lights, and then the good old horn. So up here at the bow, there's enough space for a big old piece of meat like me. I'm six foot and I weigh quite a lot. There's enough space for me to sit and look at that, my feet aren't quite touching the edge. It's a very family orientated boat this, so you've got high gunnels. If you are going over waves at speed, there's grab rails on either side. And if you do have little kids up here, you shouldn't worry about them because as I said, guard rails are very, very high. Storage wise, now underneath these, we've got two storage lockers. We've got one here. It slots back into place. And then we've got another one just in here. Cup holders are molded in to the gel coat as well. And if you do just want to seal this off while you are underway, let's say you're traveling at speed, the rain's closing in a little bit. Well, just simply fold that across. The windshield is now your wind block. Now, just before we go and have a look at the engine bay, take one last look around the cockpit.
an ultra versatile layout, really, really practical for the family. Myself and my family had one of these. It was the very first boat that we had, so I can vouch for it single-handedly. Now, probably the best part about the 175 is the engine underneath here. That is Merv Cruiser's 135 horsepower, three liter petrol engine. The engine bay has been cleaned to within an inch, an inch of its life. The boat really has had minimal use and you can tell that just by looking around uh, at the condition of the engine bay, of the seats, of the carpets, of just the general upholstery inside. That is Merv Cruiser's probably most reliable ever engine as well. I'm Ruben, behind the camera is Stan. We're from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.